So today I'm going to be going unplugged, all right? Loads of you on the channel ask me, will rent to rent work in my area? How do I analyze an area properly? And then how do I go about sourcing my first rent to rent deal? So on this video, I'm gonna share it all. I'm gonna pick an area that I've never looked at and we're gonna do a deep dive. Now, disclaimer, a lot of people rush into sourcing rent to rent deals. So what I'm looking to do in this video is get a good flavor for the area. I want to know the guest magnets. I want to know the roads. I want to know the nightly rates, what I'm likely to have to pay for properties so that I've got a really clear vision of what I need to do. So by the end of this video, you'll know what you need to do so that you can analyze your area and start sourcing. That sounds good. Hit the subscribe button and check this out. So. I've decided to pick Bournemouth, random area. I have no knowledge on this whatsoever. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to slap Bournemouth into Google, okay? I wanna look at the maps and I just wanna see a little bit what's going on here, okay? So if I zoom right in, I can see coastal town. Hey, easy, easy, slow down, slow down. Zoom out a little bit, there we go. So I can see coastal town, um, lots going on here, I'm sure. But the first thing I want to do is I just want to look into the area in general. So I'm looking for hotels. All right. Wow. Hilton Bournemouth. OK, the Marriott. <laughs> so, all right. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to realize that somewhere around here in terms of area is going to be absolutely amazing because you've got the biggest hotel chains in that area okay you've got hampton by hilton you've got a hilton in fact hilton have gone big on this particular area they know it works that's why they've got multiple different properties in that area all right so the first thing i know is okay cool that's going to be a good area so i'm also looking for additional attractions so i'm looking for things like transport link so i can see there's one just above this pokestown and i'm guessing if i zoom in there's going to be something a little bit more central as well Let's zoom in. Okay, let's have oh, so many hotels here. It's crazy. Let's have a little look. There we go. So that's Bournemouth's main station here. So once again, anywhere around here is going to be fantastic as well because it's going to have great transport links and people are going to want to stay here. You can see the major hotel chains have moved to the coast. If I was to guess, I'm going to say that properties on this coast are going to be more expensive. All right. There's also going to be probably less houses and more flats and apartments. And, you know, uh, I love houses, so I'm probably might be better off moving up sort of inland a little bit as well. Um, what you will also notice is in terms of events and attractions, I'm looking for things like O2 Academy Bournemouth. I'm also looking for these red patches, OK, because these red patches here are usually hospitals. So if I zoom in. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. You're going to see that is a big hospital. All right. So anywhere around here, particularly if I want to start targeting hospital professionals. Now, remember, we do rent to rent 2.0. All right. We do rent to rent 2.0. So what that means is I'm always looking to control an asset and then I'm looking what is the best way of generating income. So in this particular video, I'm slightly more leaning towards SA because I reckon Bournemouth's gonna absolutely kill it with it being a coastal town. But I'm also thinking of HMO and a hybrid of that because the number one rule of rent to rent 2.0 is to be creative, all right? We gotta think out the box and we gotta find high quality property and then find cool ways to cash flow it. So, as you've seen, I'm starting to get a feel for Bournemouth now. I'm starting to like it. I'm looking at those guest magnets, all right? Um, I know where the hotels are. I know that all around this coastal is going to be attraction. I can see there's a couple of piers, obviously. You've got the chain station. We've got a big hospital right up here. We've got a golf club. So I'm starting to look at the pockets of areas where I think there will be demand. Now, the next thing I would want to do is I just want to have a look at some units. All right, let's just have a look. So if I head over to Airbnb, what I want to do is I just want to search Bournemouth. 
I'll leave the dates open because keep in mind, if you put the dates in, it's going to um, minimize the results because it's only going to show you the results of properties that are available on those dates. So if you don't put any dates in, it's going to show you pretty much everything, right? So as you can see, at the time of shooting this video, because Airbnb constantly want to change their, their uh, operating system or their um, platform, you can see the, the listings are on the left and you can see I can see prices on the map. So if I zoom in on this map now, I'm going to start to be able to draw um, parallels on what I was looking at before. Now, I can instantly tell you that it seems like a lot of people are renting out their room. So if you look here, single room, single room. So what I wanna do is I wanna hit filters and I wanna go entire home, all right? So as soon as I go entire home, and to be honest with you, I'm probably gonna want to go more than two beds. So I can start to get a flavor for some units. And all I wanna do is I wanna scroll down and look for a half decent one. This one here looks pretty nice and I can see all right, um, it looks like 144 pound a night. They've, yeah, this is a good one actually. Let's let's take a let's take a closer look. Um, let's take a closer look at this one. So as you can see, stunning two bed home, 15 minutes walk to beach, beautiful. You can see that they've had 137 reviews. They're a guest favorite, super host, very high reviews. So this would be a beautiful beautiful benchmark for me. If I scroll all the way down, I can see their reviews and I can also see the area. Now, one thing about Airbnb that you need to be a little bit careful with is you can see it's spanning quite a big area. And if I zoom out, okay, it will, before, before you know, I'm in pool. <laughs> So you want to stay zoomed in where possible and you want to just make sure that when you click on a unit, it is where you want it to be. So we're still in the Bournemouth area, but we're a bit further out. But that's OK. So a common thing that people will do is they will look at the bookings or the perceived bookings that this listing has and then they'll be like oh no it doesn't work what am i gonna do uh, you don't want to do all that right um <laughs> you don't want to do all that so if i scroll back it just so happens that this unit is allegedly heavily booked but i'm taking everything with a grain of salt what happens if this host is closed for july and I think they're fully booked, but actually they're just closed. All right. But you can see, look, allegedly it would seem they're booked for July. They've only got a few nights available for August. September is going to slow down. October it's going to slow down. That's not because those times are going to be particularly bad. It's just because people book last minute. Um, one thing that is quite good to do, if you click, if you try and book, and just click on any cell, it's gonna tell you what their minimum night stay is. You can see their minimum night stay is two. And then what I also wanna do is I wanna increase the guests and see if they are increasing the price. Okay, so if I go for two nights, you can see for four guests, it's a hundred pound per night plus an Airbnb service fee. Let's see how many guests we can do. So for five guests, it's still the same. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what it would be to book those last dates in August. So they've gone three night minimum stay in August. Interesting. You can see they've now gone £155. For some reason, they've not got a cleaning fee. I've um, not got a cleaning fee. So I would say that's a little bit cheap, which is probably why they're getting so booked up. Let's have another look at uh, one more. And what I'm going to do is I, guys, I love the larger properties because I know that if I go for a four bed, let, let me show you that again. If I go one bed, there's 700, 771 homes. If I go four bed, there's now only 87. So what that means is it means that there's going to be a whole lot less competition. So if I show homes now, ah, look at that that's what i like man so the price is skyrocket okay so if i could look at this it's beautiful let's click on this one right here oh yeah that's a uh, beautiful man look at that that's a mansion by the sea i love that I, I can't help myself let's think big let's think big guys like why not why not 12 bedrooms epic 
And you know what? A lot of people wouldn't even look at this, but let's be open to this stuff. And I'll tell you why, because do you know what? There's not that many people that can rent these larger properties. So if you can do something like this, you could make an absolute killing, all right? We're gonna say, okay, three, three night minimum. Let's see how much this is gonna come out at. So 1,600 pound a night. I know you can start to see the, the, the pound size. Let's go for eight guests. Let's close it out. Still showing up the same. If I go higher than that, what's gonna what's it gonna do? Yeah, that's gonna creep up. Cleaning fee is a whopping 480 pound. Beautiful. And we can start to get a flavor for this one as well. I mean, maybe I am a bit gassed up with this one, to be fair. But the point is you want to explore as many different options as possible. And what I can do is if I go on the filters, right? What I can do is I can go. I can choose the bedrooms, but I can also choose the beds. So I can just choose maybe, you know, six beds. Um, so it, it takes uh, it takes some of this out of it. So we're down to 58 homes. Let's have a little look, see what we've got. Let's choose something that just seems pretty nice and solid. What's this here? This seems pretty solid. Yeah, we can do this. Come on. So. Yeah, this is nice. Four bedroom property, 65 reviews, 4.5, sleeps seven. Let's have a little look at the perceived availability. Yeah, they're getting pretty, pretty booked up. Once again, guys, do not overly focus on this part. Two night minimum. Let's see, 180. What about if I go four guests? Uh, let's go back. And if I go six guests, does it go up? These guys don't know about increasing their pricing with occupancy. So what I recommend, right, is you want to increase the price beyond a certain amount of occupants because that's where you're going to get the cream. All right, beautiful. Let's have a little look at where this one is. So this is right in the heart, right in the heart. Okay, now I like this one. You know, like if I was being, if I'm in Bournemouth now and I'm looking for deals, I want to go for larger properties. So what I want to do now is I want to go over to Bournemouth. I want to click properties to rent. I want to click houses. I want to click number of bedrooms, four, no max. In fact, you know what? Let's go three to five. That's beautiful. And let's find properties. So I can see 35 listings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on map view. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to remember when I talked about guest magnets, you've got the town center here. You've got the Bournemouth uh, train station here. Um, as, I, as I thought, there probably isn't going to be many big houses right on this coast. So we need to go out. But think about it. If you're a big group, are you willing to go a little bit out for the right property at the right price? Of course you are. So I'm going to just click on a couple of these. Oh, yeah, I like this. I like this. So you can see this property near the city center. You know, really near this uh, beautiful uh, Maverick Park, really near the coast, really near the train station, really near Bournemouth. I love this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click see property details. And this is a new home. This is what we do in rent to rent 2.0. Beautiful garden. OK, there's even a virtual tour. So what I'm thinking now is I'm like, OK, then two thousand six hundred pounds is what I'm going to be looking at paying for one of these properties. If we add 500 quid or 600 quid for the bills, maybe let's go 3,200 pound. Three, let's call it 3,000 pounds because I tell you what, that one there is brand new and I'm sure if we look at a few others, we can probably get a bit cheaper. So we've got one four, okay? So within that distance, you've got a 1,200 pound difference. So if we can get in for around 3,000 pounds, what's this one? Two four, let's have another look. Three. Let's have another look. Two six. Let's have another look. Two. I mean, I can tell you now. Let's have a look at this one because this one here, this feels very cheap right now. So, so what I always do is I always talk about a. I talk about a spread. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making rent to rent is they overpay for a property. 
Because if you are a group of six people, it doesn't really matter whether it's the property for two and a half or 1400, either way, comparably, you're gonna have a similar budget. So if you can save 1200 quid, you're going to get, you've just got so much more flexibility in terms of when you're breaking even. So if we was just to crunch some rough maths on this, if I think to myself, okay then, well, if I'm going to be able to charge I feel like we can do better. I feel like these are undercharging a bit. So if we could charge, let's just say 200 pounds a night, we're going to do a better job. That's a total potential income of 6,000 pounds. All right. Total percentage, total potential income of 6,000 pounds. Give or take, guys. Obviously, there's certain expenses. There's certain bits and bobs. There's the, the OTA commission and stuff like that. But just to give you an idea, what I'm looking for is if I can charge £200 a night, which is £6,000, all right? And if I can get that property for, what was it? Let's go to that right move property. If I could get that property, let's say £1,400 plus bills, I'm at £2,000. Okay, then all of a sudden you can see I'm breaking even at 33%. That is a deal, all right? If I move over to the slightly more new build one, I'm probably going to be at 3,200, which means my break even point's probably going to be over 50%, especially when you encounter some of the other costs. So that might be a little bit too expensive. So what I'm doing if I'm you now is I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, if I can find a three stroke four bed property for around 2000 pounds, I know I'm on to a winner. I know I'm on to a winner. So now I've got clarity, okay? I know what I can charge. I know some of the competition. You can dig way deeper than I just did. You can use some smart pricing softwares to do some of this research yourself. But the main take home is you've, you've got to know your area side out. You've got to know it, know your market. And when you know it, it's going to fill you with confidence. And then when we get into sourcing your properties, it's way, way easier. But I want to show you one more thing, because a lot of you, when you're looking at research, sure, we're looking at other SA units and that's a great thing to do. However, what about hotels? So if I head over to booking.com, okay, and we go Bournemouth, and once again, let's not put no dates, but let's say there's six of us because we're going for a slightly larger property. So there's six adults. If I click done, I'll keep it on one room for now, um, but I think it's going to say I need multiple rooms. Let's accept. I really just want hotels now, so I'm going to click hotels. And I think I need to select dates to see the prices here. So let's say, for example, we wanted to let's stay for a week because we like long term bookings, right? Let's go for a week. Beautiful. Now, this is where things start to get saucy. All right. Because if there was six of you. All right. If there was six of you at the Hilton Bournemouth, it's saying you would need. OK, I've actually gone for six nights. It's saying you would need one king size with an extra double bed, one family room with an extra double bed, which is three thousand pounds for one single week. Now, so what starts to happen now is you start to do the math because that's five hundred pounds per night. Right. That's five hundred pounds per night. If I just stick it on this Monday. You're going to see that's £500 per night, four, five, six per night. So if we can all of a sudden do something amazing, all right, give them kitchen facilities, give them lounges and stuff, and we can bring that in at 300, 350, 250, you can see that is where the opportunity is. So don't just look at other SA units, but also look at other hotels. So there you have it. Turns out load of you are going to be focusing on Bournemouth now for your next rent to rent deals. But the big take home here is get a good flavor for your area. And that is going to be the foundation of building your rent to rent empire. I'll see you in the next video.